Expect great things from God. Attempt great things for God. These are the words of the great missionary, William Carey. I'm standing in a pulpit that William Carey preached from in a church that he planted. He was born in England, and as a young boy, he realized that he had a talent for learning languages. At 14 years of age, he taught himself Latin. Later, he became a shoemaker, and as he sat working on his shoes, he learned to read Greek and Hebrew, Dutch, Italian, and French. Later, William Carey became a pastor, and in those days, there was a hyper-Calvinistic belief that if God wanted to save the heathen, that God would save them without any help from human preachers. But William Carey was reading the Great Commission in Mark chapter 16, verse 15, which says, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And he knew that those words of Jesus apply to every believer today. And so he wrote a missionary manifesto. And because of this book, he's now known as the father of modern missions. He came as a missionary to Calcutta, India, landing in November of 1793. He immediately started learning the Bengali language and translating the Bible into Bengali. After seven years of living here, he had the privilege of baptizing his very first Hindu convert in the Ganges River. His name was Krishna Pal, and he was baptized on December 28, 1800. This young Hindu man who had become a Christian later became a preacher and went village to village telling people about Jesus. William Carey continued to work on translating the Bible into many other languages on the Indian subcontinent, including the languages of Punjabi, Hindi, and Sanskrit. In his lifetime, William Carey saw about 700 people come to Jesus. But now, because of all of the Bibles that he translated, there are millions of people that have heard about Jesus. But yet, there is still a lot of work that needs to be done. That's why we've come here to this part of the world. This week, we have been preaching the gospel in a small village area, and we have seen many people give their lives to Jesus. We also had the privilege of training some young preachers who are going to go village to village, preaching and planting churches. God is working today the same way that he worked back in the time of William Carey. Now I want you to think about your life. If God could use a shoemaker to impact so many lives, imagine the amazing things that God can do through your life. Daniel King is on a mission to save one million souls a year, but he can't do it alone. Would you consider sowing a financial seed today? To give, please visit www.kingministries.com.